In this series of videos, I want to demonstrate what Bootstrap means to Wappler. First, an explanation of what is Bootstrap. Bootstrap is a front-end framework. Frameworks are designed to help us to concentrate on high-level functionality. This is because any low-level functionality is taken care of by the framework itself. According to Wikipedia, Bootstrap is a free and open-source CSS framework directed at responsive, mobile-first front-end web development. It contains CSS and JavaScript-based design templates for typography, forms, buttons, navigation, and other interface components. We have to structure our page the way the Bootstrap framework wants us to to take advantage of the features. This will be demonstrated in coming videos. Bootstrap can be divided into four categories. Layout includes containers, rows, and columns, breakpoint sizing and placement. Content includes typography, images, and tables. Components include navigation, cards, modals, and forms. Utilities include borders, colors, flex, and spacing. It is very important to note that Bootstrap uses a mobile-first approach. A mobile-first approach involves designing a website starting with the mobile version, which is then adapted to larger screens. This has practical consequences for the developer. These will be explained in coming videos. For now, keep the mobile-first approach in mind. What do you need to know when using Bootstrap and Wappler? The beauty of Wappler is that, unlike other integrated development environments, it does not require any coding experience. However, if you want to improve your web development skills, you may want to brush up on HTML, CSS and Bootstrap. To get started with Bootstrap, you will need to have the framework include for the page. When you create a new page in Wappler, this will be included automatically. If it has not been included, simply click the Add Framework icon and add the Bootstrap framework. I advise to add the local version because it will make it a lot easier for you when we progress through this series of videos. Secondly, to allow you to understand the Bootstrap Grid system, it is best to show the Bootstrap Grid. Click on the Options icon. In the dialog, select a Design View and turn Show Bootstrap Grid, on. Make sure to save the selection. That is it for the introduction. My name is Ben Plesier, and I will leave some important links below.